What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I'm going to get my bearded dragons to react to can o worms so this right here is a product made from zoomed that by the looks of it it's basically worms in a can is that is this what it is like if we look at the ingredients look at this farmed raised mealworms that's about it um and it shows you all the proteins and everything now i normally don't feed my bearded dragons mealworms um there's a lot more insects out there that are um, more nutritious for them but i figured having this as an emergency um especially right now that uh here where i am in canada every the, the stores are still um you know practicing social distancing you're not really allowed to go in there um with a lot of people and you know most of the stores are some of them are still closed so i am you know relying on something like this to be a backup and i figured it would be a great thing to review and have my bearded dragon see if they actually like it in case someone out there also needs a product like this so this cost me about nine dollars it weighs about 30 um about 35 grams if i was to buy that in live mealworms from a pet shop it'll probably be around the same price if not a little bit more cheaper but with that being said, you know, enough of me talking. I'm just more curious to see if um, my bearded dragons actually like this. And it says natural juices locked in the can. That, honestly, that is just gross. <laughs> like, what, is there gonna be fresh mealworms in here? Ideal for reptiles, birds, and fishes. Never buy live food again. Well, I, I don't know about that, but <laughs> the, the advertisement is sure getting me. It's almost making me want to taste it. Uh, feeding made easy, you know, so far so good. Like, I, I don't know. It's just a can full of worms. <laughs> so, let's go. so let's go see if my bearded dragons actually want to eat this. Let's go. Okay, so right in front of me, we got BB, Sansa, Penelope, and Brienne. These are my female bearded dragons, and the majority of them have different tastes in food. BB, she really loves hornworms. Sansa really loves crickets. Penelope loves everything. And uh, Brienne, she just kind of just stands as like a statue. I, honestly, she's more of a picky eater than all of them, but I am very curious to see which one of them is gonna really enjoy canned food. <laughs> so let's just dive into it. They are already curious to see what I'm offering them. As you can see, they're kind of like creeping up, just getting closer and closer. But I am just gonna open it and just see. Oh my goodness, this thing is hard to open. Oh, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> the smell is so intense. Oh my goodness, hey, hey, oh, hey. Wow, she's already diving into it, but look at this. This is actually mealworms. Like, this thing is still, like, fresh. I could swear that this thing is still alive. I'm actually impressed. I'm not going to lie. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, dried canned food like or something, but no, this thing is still squishy. Like, this is legit. But the only thing I don't really know too much of this is that is it really you know filled with nutrients like how did zoom in prepare this because for me when i do feed mealworms on a rare occasion i do gut load them with a lot of veggies so i don't know what this is really like but we'll just see if my bearded dragons like it now they do have other products um at the store <laughs> look at my bearded dragons just looking i do have other they do have other products at the store um, like crickets and other things so let me know if you guys want to see me review a whole bunch of stuff for bearded dragons and reptiles so let's see if these guys actually want to eat some okay there's gonna be some here i don't see why they wouldn't <laughs> here you go anyone oh penelope penelope i know i know you're curious you're like is this thing alive what is this <laughs> everyone's so confused <laughs> They're so confused because they're expecting it to move. Like, even I'm kind of expecting it to move, but it's not. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have ever tried this. Um, oh, my goodness. Hey, okay, okay. Here. <laughs> Yum. <Yeah, me. laughs> Anyone? Anyone want to eat from this spoon? BB does. BB is like, yes, give me this. Oh, yum. I'm not, I, I'm actually kind of impressed, okay? 
the fact that you could keep you know things this fresh because i don't know about you if you've ever dealt with um dead insects whether it's mealworms superworms any dead insects they start to rot really quickly hey be nice they start to rot really 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 quickly to the point where it even starts to smell so the fact that this right here it, it did have an intense smell but it's still fresh i could swear that these things have been you know freshly killed not too long ago so i'm actually pretty impressed on um how fresh they look i don't know when these things have been canned and how good these things are going to be for uh, for how long these things are going to be good for oh it actually says at the bottom oh oh my goodness okay so as you can see this can can stay fresh until june 30th 2023 so that right there is insane this thing could stay fresh for three years so you technically could have backup food for about three years which honestly to me that is more than enough time i don't think i'm going to be having this for that long but in case i needed some um you know insects i don't know what happened like there's a zombie apocalypse there's no insects or anything you bet i'm gonna be stocking up on these because these things will stay fresh you know there's so many different things that you could obviously use but i do like the fact that these are just insects they're just mealworms there's nothing else in there you know the ingredients just say farm to raise mealworms and that's it so it's really <laughs> cool that uh you know you could provide your animals bugs obviously the live insects are way better and i highly recommend if you are going to be getting a bearded dragon do not just get this and say hey i'm set for life um you definitely need to provide them the proper nutrients but i do like the fact that there is this option in case um you know you run out you have some backup i don't feed mealworms but occasionally it's not bad for your bearded dragons but don't have it as a staple diet they don't have that much nutrients compared to the other insects but i'm not hating i'm actually pretty impressed that all my bearded dragons are happy this thing could stay fresh for three years i don't know how they do it it's probably some voodoo <laughs> but it's honestly really neat that it's even possible to do this you guys like it yeah that's cool now, this right here is gonna be the ultimate test. I'm about to give this thing 10 out of 10, but I can't let it slide yet. I needed to get myself a picky eater, a crazy one. I got myself Wilbur. Now, Wilbur has a track record of not wanting to eat anything in these videos. Like, I mean, he's very selective, but majority of the times he just head bobs. And if, if you notice, I don't really include him much, but in today's video, I am gonna include him regardless if he eats or not. So let's see if he wants to eat this. Come on, Wilbur, do your thing. <laughs> He's looking at it like, I don't know if I should trust this. <laughs> hey, dude, okay, look. I, this is why I don't include you in my videos, because you don't eat. Oh, he's actually gonna do it. He's actually gonna eat it. He has to, he has to. Okay, I scared him. Come on, Wilbur. Okay, maybe if I use a spoon, you want a little spoon? Here. No way. Uh, <laughs> this, I can't believe he actually ate it. Like, he's eating off the spoon. That's honestly insane. Okay, like I said, Wilbur, he can be a picky eater when it comes to things. Obviously, these are just um, mealworms. They don't really have anything else, but I'm actually impressed that he actually liked this because this is like dead mealworms. This is dead mealworms and he's eating them. Wow. So I don't know. All my bearded dragons pretty much like this. Um, I wouldn't obviously feed them this just this alone, but I'm very curious to see what the crickets would look like. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below if I should buy that. And the way you could do that is by putting the letter C, just spam the comment section. It really does help out this channel when you guys spam it. Um, in fact, do this, put a lion emoji. And if you guys have, you know, a smartphone or uh, whether you're on your <laughs> tablet or whatever you're on, try to put a lion emoji that way, you know, you guys are representing Lord the Lion. That would be so cool to see. Just the whole comment section, lions. Like, just a whole bunch of lions. Right, Wilbert? That would be cool. So, yeah. Spam the comment sections if you guys would like to see me 
<laughs> continuing these food reviews because my bearded dragons obviously want me to continue. Look at him. Like, he's literally getting a belly. Look at his belly. <laughs> so, the fact that Wilbert likes this, I'm giving this 10 worms out of 10. So, 10 out of 10. Um, <laughs> I, I would honestly buy this again. Maybe not the mealworms, because like I said, you know, when I first initially saw it, I thought it was super, uh, super worms. So, you can see they look a lot bigger. But then when I read the ingredients and I took it out, it turned out to be mealworms. So... Um, yeah, I would honestly look for a different type of bug, but maybe they have, I saw dubia roaches, I saw all different kinds. So let me know what you guys want me to review next, because this is going to be interesting to see what my bearded dragons think about this. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I've been tricked. But with that being said, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. When I usually record these videos, I'm literally lying down on the floor in my washroom. So I hope you guys appreciate that I'm putting in the effort of posting, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'm pushing for also Saturday, but I hope you guys are also subscribing because I am, you know, uploading very frequently on this channel. So I'm very active on social media. So if you guys want, message me on Instagram, send me a message. I'm not ignoring you. I'm still reading messages from the last time I said, send me a message. Uh, it's kind of hard sometimes when a whole bunch of people send me a message at, at once, but I definitely try to get back to you as fast as I can. But with that being said, I'm Lord of Lion. Keep the blood pumping, and I'll see you guys <laughs> in my next video. Peace. What are you going to do? Ow! Hey, don't try to bite me. Chill, dude. This is not a worm. Hey, hey, Wilbur, stop. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> you gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification.